show you the field right now. This one called the Northern Dancer Relay. So all these races named after fantastic horses of the past. And Bam 2 at 3 to 1. These are the morning line odds. So that uh, team involved, installed as the morning line choice. So Bam 2 from Brookfield. Bam 1 all, uh, obviously from Brookfield as well. They're at 7 to 1. So I think maybe the stack team, at least the odds are suggesting, has made up team number four. But that team with the Father Henry Carr reps is the 680 News down the stretch team. And that is the one, four to one odds. And I'm thinking, I have a strange suspicion once these odds are kind of calculated, Natalie, with all the money that goes in, that just because of what we've seen in the other two sprint races and the dominance from these people, this is going to be probably your favorite at race time. Yeah, I would say so. I think it would even be a safer bet to just place on just to place a wager on the place and show rather than the win because I don't know they've been proving themselves pretty good today and are you having a lot of fun here tonight yeah I'm having a great time it's different being here on the sidelines the music's great the food smells really good it's a tease standing on the it turf right now and we are uh, just a stone's throw away from it I'm sure we're going to visit that uh, before uh, we wrap things up uh, definitely so uh, the winners were just involved with getting their uh, photos taken and their medals as well from our most recent relay race. That was the Sea Biscuit. We still got the Northern Dancer coming up, and it should be going postward in just a couple of moments. So as we await, we'll take another short break. Tune in to win all new Bet Night Live Mondays and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Watch and wager live through your Horse Player Interactive account online to win nightly cash prizes of a thousand dollars and qualify to play for a million in Vegas. Register for the contest as a new HPI member and play your first contest free. Watch, learn, win. Bet night live on the score. Tune in to win. Powered by HorsePlayerInteractive.com. Join Horse Player now. Open your account. Bet now on over 150 racetracks worldwide from anywhere. You're hooked up. Start with program downloads. Use exclusive handicapping tools. The perks? Watch the race or cue the replay. Earn rewards points, redeem them for cash. Think bigger, bet smarter. Click or call horseplayerinteractive.com. And we're back, everyone. One more race to go. The Northern Dancer Relay, our third relay race. And teams are warming up. They're ready to go. They're just about in the gate here. But first, let's get you the payouts, Natalie, from our Seabiscuit Relay. It seems that everybody was confident on the winner there. The Bloor West Village people played 210 to win, 310 to show. The jockeys paid 260 just to place, no show wager. And J -J Julie and the Jets, 620 to place. What was that last name? Sorry, to J -J Julie and the Jets. <laughs> I love it. I love it. 620, that's a great show price as well. And then that uh, is the scene right now as we've got one more race to go. Wagering's been fantastic. What a great event this is each and every year. Again, the 11th edition of the United Way Turf Race this year at Woodbine on our uh, very well-groomed E.P. Taylor Turf Course. It's been such a success over the years, and I think this one will be very successful again to support the United Way Toronto because we've got wagering available for the first time in the history of this event with the win, place, and show. And you've got six different teams to choose from here. Again, the morning line favorites was the four. Now we see some updated odds, it appears, and we guessed it. That team, represented by reps from the father, Henry Carr, one to nine. So I think the betting public, Natalie, has caught on to their success and they are going to pound them down as the favorites. But they're being loaded into the gate. If you had a pick, is that who you'd go with? Uh, I definitely think so. And they get to vie for a horseshoe ribbon. Oh, okay. All right. So a That's lot on cool. the line here. We'll go upstairs one last time. Here's track announcer Dan Loisel. And they're off in the Northern Dancer. And the 680 News down the stretch team broke like a bullet for the early lead. Rumor has it that the Jeff Bratt... I bet his new Honda and Peter Gross took a mortgage on his townhouse in Mississauga, put it all on the one team. And 680 News down the stretch, that lead is uh, already uh, 10 yards. Uh, coming on a second there is a BAM a team, a one, BAM team two, a third, then the fast, the slow, and the pretty, followed by direct energy team two. Look at this, this lead is gargantuan. 
final 16th of a mile, 680 news. Down the stretch, if you bet them, go cash. They're going to win this by a pull. They're coming to the wire and second position. Looks like BAM 1 leads uh, BAM 2 by about 10 yards. All 680 news down the stretch. They won it like Secretariat of the Belmont. BAM 1 uh, finished second with BAM 2 finishing third. And it looks like Direct Energy Team 2 will uh, finish fourth. All 680 news down the stretch, Chad. Thanks, Dan. And that was just dominance at its best. And that kind of sums up the day for Team Father Henry Carr. And Natalie, 680 news down the stretch. This team, one, was at the wire when the second team was just getting off on their anchor. Yeah. Uh, I mean, just an amazing performance here. Down the stretch, a member of that Peter Gross, he's got to be pretty happy with his team right now, Jeff. Um, I think this is a different team than what we've seen from 6 and 8 News and down the stretch in the past. Uh, Eva was uh, the anchor leg, and another one of her team members uh, joined us as well. But, Peter, was it just a case of you sick and tired of losing? Yeah, very much so. I needed to find a race, and I needed to find the kind of talent that I could put in the race where I thought I could win. And hooked up with these uh, young people from Henry Carr. Henry Carr... Uh, Father Henry Carr Collegiate, uh, one of the schools closest to Woodbine Racetrack, involving the community. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. Congratulations. Let's bring in Eva, who did a lot of the hard work here today. Eva, introduce us to the rest of your team. Brian, um, Brendan, <laughs> and Jermaine. How quickly she forgets your names, eh, guys, after you do all the work. But uh, just tell us, Eva, what it uh, felt like because you had an insurmountable lead where you're just saying to yourself, don't fall. <laughs> yeah, and to relax. That's it. Are you guys all on the track team at school? Yeah. I mean, are we thinking Olympics down the line? Because I think Team Canada is going to be in good hands. What do you guys think? Yeah, for sure. That's what we all want. All right. Congratulations. Thanks for coming out to Woodbine. A job well done, guys. All right, thanks. thanks. Thank you very much. All righty. So I think the heavy favorite does not disappoint there in our most recent race. 60 News down the stretch as the reps from Father Henry Carr dominate. Yeah, it was definitely a safe bet. I do not feel bad saying I would have bet my dog on it. And that was a great race. Yes, and we got to get out of the way. The uh, the starting gate, the car is coming along here. So uh, that is going to wrap up another edition of the United Way Turf Races here at Woodbine, supporting United Way Toronto. And what a, another successful day we had. want to thank everybody on track joining us, all of our competitors, everybody involved today as well. Uh, the betting for the first year, very good, and we hope to just uh, continue with this uh, in years to follow. And here we've got payouts now, 680 News down the stretch. That team, dominant. And the tote board pretty much says that they were the chalk. 210 to win, 210 to place. Bam won second. There was no wagers on Bam 1. Bam 2, though, who were the morning line favorites, finished in third. There was a show wager there, Bam 2 paying out 210 on that show wager. So we want to thank everyone who placed some wagers this afternoon on these races. Also, uh, and to support a great cause, United Way Toronto. Once again, we want to thank uh, On Track Media, Amtote, and Trackers for being part of this as well. And Natalie, I want to thank you. I hope you had a lot of fun today. Yeah, Chad, thanks so much for doing this with me. It was a great time. It's always good to support United Way and Woodbine. It's been a good night. Good day. Yes, and we're just going to start the night. Again, I want to remind anyone who's on track here this afternoon, we've got live thoroughbred racing tonight starting at 6.45 Eastern. Eight races coming your way. We've got a party continuing right now. Everybody heading out there. Music still going with our DJ uh, from Loft Music. So uh, join us, and hopefully you can join us again next year. And don't forget to head out and support United Way Toronto. But again, we want to thank everyone for being with us. For Dan Loisel, Natalie Zach, Jeff Bratt, I'm Chad Rosema, and we'll see you again next year. Yeah.